to share it. Ryan Van Sickle owes us going? a theme song. He does. He owes us a theme song, a theme song, better than what I'm doing right now. So I've been singing a lot, tearing through the legends. Yeah. I try to do, you said, uh, you told me, oh, you know, they're not like, you know, I need to spice it up. And I tried to do the, uh, I put on a wig, I put on a leather jacket, I put on sunglasses. I but that's what you do every day. <laughs> well, it's true, but, you know, in case, just in case. Um, get Hangout, open Hangout a new thread. Copy. All right, there's the echo for five seconds. Oh, plus the show is coming up shortly. As soon as I do every little thing that I'm I done. need to do, I'm done. I'm done. I'm ready. I'm ready to entertain. Did you post it on Facebook and Twitter? No. Oh, there's the dryer. Okay, now uh, everything's uh, quiet. Dryer. That's uh, is that what that is? It was. It is. It isn't. It might be. It could be. So no. how was your week? Was your week good? Was it, was it stellar? <sighs> It, 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 I have been o overwhelmed with, I, I guess it's spring cleaning, it is spring, but I think I mean, I t I've told you, I told somebody, it is, it is hellish to have to go through, well it's hellish to have to go through your own clothes, but when you have little kids, they don't stay in the same clothes very long, and then when the seasons change, you've got the clothes they've grown out of, and you've got, you have to make the seasonal change of clothes, and then I have to play the guessing game. Okay, there's no way they're going to be able to fit in this stuff next spring. So that's a giveaway. Right. And then there, or because you have the oldest and the youngest, is she going to grow into it? No. Then there's, what did I put away last year with the same theory? And for my oldest, who is six, six years old and four feet one inches tall, she had like five shirts. She could kind of wear. It's like, ooh, you really don't have any clothes at all, do you? That's you are so tall. That's actually why I put that picture of me up when I was four, because they I showed it to her, and I, she thought it was her. It's like, seriously? A black and white picture of you? When have you seen that? But I showed it to her, and it was me, because she looks exactly like me then. And, um, man, I was a big four-year-old. I mean, I looked <laughs> at least five and a half. <laughs> but I'm bummed. So, yeah, that's exciting. And, you know, the show can only get better from here. Yes, I did get my, get my hair cut today. Your hair is done. My hair. Get all your hair is done and dudes and does. Not all of them, just this. Well, not only the ones on top of your head, probably. Yeah. For the most part. Yeah. I shared it to Facebook and sharing on Plus Jamie Joe page. And then I need to. I did it again, sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. I see Jane Ellen. is that, that would be obviously you, but then, bro. I never say her. Can you say. Braun, Bronwyn? Is that Ike Bronwyn? Bronwyn. It's Irish. Bron. Why can't you say Bronwyn? I missed is the end last time. Bronwyn. Oh, yeah. But I feel... I feel Bronwyn McGuckin, isn't it? No, the McGuckins, yeah. I like calling her the McGuckin. McGuckin. But it's so easy to say. It's like Wojahowicz. Like no, I, I just want to say... For some reason, I want to say Bronwyn. I don't want to say the end. I want to say bro. I like the way I like saying bra, bro. Those two things, so. That's understandable. I mean, a Those lot of people fun words. are saying bra, but and bro, and bra, and bro, and bra mans. You know what a bra mans is? Uh, when women really love their lingerie, like bra <laughs> Is that? Is, did you just make that up? Yes, I just make that up. <laughs> <laughs> That's what uh, it was so lame. Trying to scare one of me, are you? Hi, El Gray. El Gray has a cat. I want you to pronounce the cat's name. B e l l a. B e Bella. No, it's Bella. A Bella. Bella, I knew it. Bella. Bella. So you have to do it. Bella, Prince Bella, we are live from New York and It's Bronwyn Tennessee. McGuckin. Honestly, Tennessee. why can you not say her name? It's so simple. I said it, Bronwyn McGuckin. No, it's not McCockin, it's McGuckin. There's no cock in her name? Or in her life? Um, I, I don't know. Oh, actually, anyway. But I'm bum 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 this is the Plus Tame and Show. We have to talk about things here and go. Ba bum bum. That was awful. Yeah, so, that was. Don't do that. Don't ever do that again. Who should we plus in here? Who? Shout, shout us some names at me. I'm going to just shout out the names and I'll, and I'll say, hey, hey, come check us out. El Grey. Because you know? I know some Italians. Oh, yeah, you know some Italians? You know they can do take care of a couple Bella. of things. With a, with you, want me, you want I should lean on someone for you. Here, I'm going to tell you a story about one of my Italian friends. 
uh, Italian, oddly, oddly enough, an Italian New Yorker. And Forget he, about it. He is friends with, jeez, uh, I don't remember the actor's name, but he <laughs> was the show. No, he, no, yeah, De Niro. He's, he's friends with Bobby D. Uh, he was friends with the guy who was the chauffeur in The Sopranos. Okay, I, that again, I don't remember the guy's name. I could look it up, the internet's in front of me, I'm just not. But that's, that's not part of the story. So, this guy is a, a, a classic, and he's the one who really, really got me to use all these words all the time. Really, really? If, if anyone's offended by me calling someone a guido or a goomba, I'm sorry. But this guy tells it. He doubly, doubly tells you. He does it. So, uh, anyway... So he's, I don't know, like six feet tall, he's a little hefty, he's got a goatee and salt and pepper hair. I mean, he's very impressive and commanding looking. And he briefly, in between jobs, was a, a New York City cab driver. So he's, he's hardcore. And he's friends with this guy. He legitimately is friends. Well, the thing is, he has a name, which I will not repeat, but he has a name that if you Google it, it does come back on all these mafiosos. He is not in the mafia, but people, because of his last name, assume he is, or he just has the look. So he <laughs> he and he was approached by this guy and said, you know, someone is embezzling money from me, and uh, I I need you to do something about it. And you're like a friend of a friend. It's like, no, seriously, I'm <laughs> call the police. You know, well, I can help you. And so. <laughs> The guy wouldn't let up. He said, "No, you really have to help me. You have to help me." He's like, "It's this, it's this guy over here, and you know, everyone's a guy." And so he and this actor, whose name I have conveniently forgotten, they just showed up at the place of business of the guy who was being, uh, you know, who was, who was leaning on him. And there were these big, hefty guys. And uh, the big, hefty guys said, "You know, um, what?" Okay. That's where I come in? Uh, and then, uh, can you still hear me? Yeah, I can still hear you. You said these big, hefty Are, guys yeah, said, big, hefty forget, guys about, come in. forget about it. Forget about it. And they lean on him, and they just say, you know, you ever do that again, then uh, we're going to be back here. And they smack their hands like that. Like, you don't want that to happen. And it never happened again. That is awesome. You vibrate quite a lot. That's your vibrant. That means you're vibrant. You're a vibrant vibrator. I like that about you. That was a good story. Forget about it. So uh, it was so a lot funnier. No, it was pretty funny. I I tagged a bunch of people, and uh, it's awesome to have so many wonderful people with us, including Brooke Brown, Michael Carvel, you, me, and that Bronwyn McGuckin. Did I say it right? Yes. Okay. Good. So, uh, we had a very exciting weekend. Uh, Sunday, besides another brisk, another snip step, there were two season premieres. That was crazy. Yeah, I cleaned, I cleaned house. That was my weekend. You were cleaning. I caught both. I caught uh, Game of Thrones, and I caught The Killing, um, both involving death, of course. Mm -hmm. I don't know if death were. But so, The Game of Thrones 2... Uh, it was pretty cool. Peter Dinklage is uh, is, an, is a really great actor, and uh, we don't have many. What what do you say? I really bombed telling that story, didn't I? It, it, it's so much better when he tells it. Oh no, you were good. No, 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 no. Actually, it's better when he tells it because you could see him. Yeah, and, and he's get, he does the and Italian. And he's Italian because I'm not I'm not Italian, but st I know Listen, Italians. Forget about it. We'll get a chicken parm later, and you and I will go. Uh, Tell about a story next time. So he's one of those Italians who doesn't say Parmesan or mozzarella. It's, he said, Parmesan. What, what did you say? What did you say? <laughs> Capel. Capel? You say mozzarella. Are you trying to say capiche? Cause <laughs> don't do it. It hurts my ears when you do it. It's uh, Seriously, it's, he was born and raised here. Oh, and another funny Italian. Well, right now he's deceased, but a lovely man. Father Guido, and I'm not making that up. Father Guido Farinato was his name. Friend of my family for years and years and years. He took he took me to Boston and there were Harry Krishnas there and I remember thinking ah irony. Irony. Well, Aaron Wood is dying to get in to talk about Game of Thrones and Mad Men. Dying. Like, really, Aaron, who you know doesn't he, doesn't even respond to me. Robbing at the mouth, foaming. 
from the ear. Foaming from the ear? Is that is that cat rabies? I think so. Aaron Wood, you must check your cats out for uh, for rabies. But did you hear about putting butter on your cat? I don't have any cats, but if you mean butter on my pussy cat, what? Um, yeah. No. Well, no, this is serious. Uh, if you if you move and you happen to have a cat that you let go outdoors, and you know the cat has to familiarize itself with the neighborhood and all that. Though, of course, to me, it's like, why would you have a cat? But that's, that's not this discussion. It's all about butter. Butter. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you're to put butter on the cat's paws. Uh -oh. So when you put it outside, it will stop and, you know, do... It'll do that business, and it will, um, it will stay there, and it will familiarize itself with its surroundings before it takes off. That, that story was butter. Yeah. Like a big stick of butter. However, who can actually get butter on a cat's paws. I mean, I had a cat once. He lived 16 glorious years. And if I said, hey, I'm going to put butter on your paws, he would go, forget about it. Wow. There you go. You brought it all home. Jane Ellen, everybody. She's yeah. only here for a week. She'll be Try back be next week, Aaron Wood. What? No, I'm just kidding. No, I joke. I kid. I kid. Uh, try so, to view so, kids. Yeah. Once we're on, it's a private party, correct? That's how it works? Or oh, I wasn't going to invite him in, I, unless we ran, unless we, you want. I, so you, I don't, I don't, it's, it's, it's we'll just, my, you know what, we'll just see what happens there. We'll yeah, just see may, what happens. maybe we'll let you in, maybe if you're a good boy, but. Uh, maybe. Or not. Uh, yeah, but if you have any insight on Game of Thrones or Mad Men, give us some, some comments and we will interact with you like that. The only, the only thing, you know, the other thing, the thing is, is that. By the way, we actually started the show. Oh yeah, it's been going on. This is part. This is it's all part of it. It's all okay. So so we're not just dicking around now. We're actually doing. Oh, this we thing. haven't been dicking around since like uh, at least ten minutes ago. Okay. Well, if I'd known we actually started, I would have gone into what we were going to talk about instead of just telling these stupid stories. Oh, I thought well, you wanted you to tell the stories. No, no, I was. I, I yeah, was that's why I started I talking. Just, I thought you were just. Oh, I was into the, the premiere of the Game of Thrones, and uh, I thought you wanted to tell a story. Um, that was no. I would have found a funnier one. I was just killing oh. time. No. Who's killing time? Who's killing me? Killing? Who sees that? Killing time? I don't know. Joan Jett? I have no idea. Oh, good heavens. Clint Black, like 1990. And welcome <laughs> to the music portion of our show. Uh, no, yeah, I know. Game of Thrones was really was really good. And uh, Peter Dinklage, like I was say, just saying that, I don't know if it's short actor or actor of, what do you, what do you call it, dwarves, short people? You call them little people. Little now, people. here's a story for you. I'm going to uh -huh. tell you a little people story. Okay. <laughs> this is awesome. My very good friend, Adam Cravens, you know Adam, I've known for a long time. I mean, more than 10 years long time. And I don't just know him casually. It's like, been to each other's houses. I mean, he's someone who's in my inner circle. And one day, he was over at the house, and there was some of my children's chairs, you know, and little kids' chairs are smaller. And so he goes, you know what? Seeing all this stuff reminds me of visiting my three aunts. I said, why? <laughs> why that? He goes, well, they're all little people. He said, they're all little people? He goes, yes, I, my three aunts are all little people. I was like, seriously, we've known each other, let's say, 15 years, and I am just now finding out that you have three aunts? that lived together in a, like a little tiny hobbit house? Because he said for him as a child, it was just perfectly sized for him. And it's like, wouldn't that have come up in some way? Because that's, that's you know, just like the, not that I care if you're a little person or not, that's not the point. The point is that, that you have, your three aunts are little people and you lived in this magical world of small things when you were a child and this has never come up in conversation because we're too busy talking about pop culture and movies. That's what fascinated me. And he goes, I thought you knew. Said no, I knew about your 